That's right. Here at Mowers and Blowers, we push them into the garage and they come out driving. Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers and Blowers. Somebody wants to see one of my push mowers that I have in my inventory that I haven't touched since the entire winter. Of course, the one that he wants to see, that's right, it's all the way in the back. He couldn't get one like over here. I gotta take everything out just to get that out. I guess it's the inevitable. I have to get them all out eventually, right? So this is the one that I dug out. Uh, I have it listed for a hundred bucks. Guy offered me 85. I'm totally ready to get rid of it for 85. That is if it starts. As you saw, I kind of, uh, you know, went inside and pushed up all the bars and stuff just to kind of get it a little bit more, you know, back into shape again. At least it's kind of square, you know, but uh, being that it's flat on the top, if it rains and stuff, it's just going to pull it all down again. I'm going to eventually have to get rid of it, you know what I mean? But for the time being, it's okay. So here's my stash from last year. I have some junky ones. This one I'd let go for 50. This is just like, I mean, I think it starts and runs and stuff. It just looks like hell, you know? This one, you know, uh, we got the engine started after putting some sea foam in the Combustion chamber, I'm not sure if it still runs. I don't know. <laughs> I think this is good. The rest of it is okay. They all run, I think, you know. But I'd have, for me to know for sure, I'd have to like put gas in it, every one of them, and see. So I have uh, 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I have 13. And four extra baggers. Hey, I got this in the front of my garage now. Put some gas in here. It's an auto choke. Been sitting here since uh, last summer, end of summer, beginning of fall. Check the oil, it's good. but it seems like it's always on choke. Maybe the flap is not opening. Okay, so the choke flap is not opening on its own. Let's see if after a while when it's running, it opens up from the muffler. doesn't open on its own now. I'm gonna have to shoot some uh, carb cleaner around the joints. Gotta just check out that uh, uh-huh this part here is not supposed to be inside. It's supposed to just sit here but I don't know if this muffler is working. 
because no matter how long I run it, it doesn't seem like it's opening up on its own. I want to see if heat causes this lever to move up by itself. Because when the engine's running for a period of time, this engine heats up. This is supposed to move forward and keep the uh, choke open, right? But it's not staying. So I want to see with this heat gun, if we heat it up, does the lever move by itself, opening up the um, choke flap? If not, I might have to replace the um, muffler for one that works and it goes forward because then the guy's gonna have tough, a tough time starting it, you know? And look, I'm heating it up. This heating gun is pretty strong and it's not moving, which means that the thermostat in this muffler is busted. It's not moving at all, see? So I have to go find a muffler that has this heating element there, the thermostat. So I shot some uh, contact cleaner from my friends over at Lucas Oil just to clean up any like debris or dirt or dried oil that might be preventing this from moving. And then to lubricate it, I put some penetrating oil and I shot it in there. And so um, it's cooling off a little bit. So now it's back, uh, back again, which is correct to start when it's cold. Now we're gonna heat it up again and see if this thing moves by itself. Um, when I was doing this before, because of the penetrating oil, this heat gun is actually causing it to smoke. So uh, before I try to sell this thing, I want to make sure the oil is all burned, burned away. As you see, we're heating this up and it doesn't seem to be opening. But if the vibration of the engine's moving, right, it will move. See that? And it's moving upwards and opening up the flap. So it's vibrating, vibrating, right? And it is open now, see? So I think this will work. Um, if it doesn't, when I put all this stuff together again, um, I'm gonna just find a auto choke engine that I have on one of those, take the muffler off and put it on this and it should work. Put everything back together again. good mower. $85 is a steal. All you need is a bagger. Uh, the self-propulsion doesn't work, which is why I'm willing to let it go for $85. Let's see, uh, let's see if I can sell this later. So I just uh, sprayed some water on it, wiped it down. It's great. Uh, make plans with the guy and see him in a couple hours. there and uh, the guy texted me and says he's at the church already so now I'm gonna go sell that mower and when we get back we're gonna see if that uh, lawnmower moves well we know it moves we know it starts we know it runs but let's see if it mows let's see if that uh, mower deck works huh with that new spring
as you saw, I met the guy, really nice guy, you know, um, and, uh, you know, I had it listed for, I think, $85, and uh, we agreed on $85, and then when he's handing me the money, he's like, would 80 work? And then, uh, normally, I would say yes, right? But I saw he had at least four or five singles in there, you know? So I'm like, you don't have 85? He's like, oh, yeah, I just didn't want to go get a five, but it looks like I might have uh, five singles. So <laughs> you stick with it, guys, until you can, and keep, as, as long as you get it, you know? You stick with it until you can't get it, you know? So, uh... 85 bucks for that simple push mower, you know what I mean, that I got for free. So uh, today, no matter how much aggravation I'm going through on the deck and the uh, carcass of crap project, right, no matter how much frustration that I'm dealing with, right, it all makes it worthwhile <laughs> when you can come out of it with some cash, you know what I'm saying, from free stuff. So that's, you know, that's the rewarding part of it is selling the shit that you got. Now back to the carcass of crap. Hey Henry, it's Andy from the UK, aka Mower Wizard. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowersandblowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.